Developing news out of the State House. Right now, Senate lawmakers are hearing a bill that could decriminalize marijuana in Rhode Island. If passed, those caught with a small amount of marijuana would be charged a fine instead of being charged with a crime. Iowa to Sue's reporter Stephen Schuler is live in the newsroom now with the details. Well, we've learned the House actually delayed its vote scheduled for this afternoon, but right now, senators are taking up this controversial topic. It's a crime that sometimes leads to jail time and substantial fines, but soon getting caught with a small amount of pot could become a civil offense in Rhode Island. Studies have shown that they'll be anywhere from, on the low side, $4 million to approximately $11 million on the high side in savings for the state. Representative John Edwards is the bill's sponsor in the House. His legislation would replace criminal penalties for possession of less than an ounce of marijuana with a $150 fine. Kathleen Sullivan, Barrington's Drug Prevention Director, tells us the move would send mixed messages to teens. We believe that if there is a, a consequence, a, a criminal penalty, that may be a have, have a deterrent effect on young people. Fourteen states, including Massachusetts and Connecticut, have passed similar legislation as this debate continues to play out across the country. Rhode Island uh, is woefully behind her neighbors, but we are, hopefully will be the 15th state in the country to enact marijuana legislation. It's an attempt to normalize the use of this dangerous substance among um, people in our community, and, and we're concerned about that. Now, we did reach out to the governor's office, but at this point, there's no word whether he plans to sign this bill into law if passed. Similar legislation has failed in previous years. Live in the newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.